It feels amazing to be part of the Scottsboro Boys. Um, you know, to do such a, a special story and a true story. A lot of times uh, when you work in the musical theater, you live in a more fantastical world. And so to do a story that is true and something that really happened. And, you know, although this story happened in, in 1931, in fact, uh, it resonates today. I think the, the biggest challenge of working uh, on the Scottsboro Boys is finding the exact tone needed because what's interesting uh, about Kander and Ebb's music, it's very entertaining. And uh, as John Kander and Fred Ebb said, if we don't make it entertaining, they won't listen. So I think the Scottsboro Boys combines the sort of best of what we love about the theater. The Scottsboro Boys starts a conversation that people talk about, I know, around their kitchen table for two or three days afterwards. It really takes you back to your own family, to what you know about race, to the conversation of race, to how you feel about it. Um, so I know that when the people leave that theater, they go out and they talk about it, and they talk about it a lot. The Scottsboro Boys was such a hit at the Young Vic. It made me so happy and it looked so beautiful in that theater. I loved that the audience embraced it so. So now to have the opportunity of the Scottsboro Boys going to the West End is, is thrilling.